activity did you do today? Did you help your mother do the household chores? How does your mother feel when you helped her do the household chores? She feels happy, right? When you work as a team, you will be able to finish your task without getting so tired because each one of you has a specific task to perform. We call it a teamwork. That will be our lesson for today. We are going to study how the skeletal system and the muscular system work together to form an organ system called musculoskeletal system. Do you know how houses are built? Houses are not just made of wood, concrete, bricks, or stone. They are also made of frames. What do you think is the reason why construction workers put frames like steel or wood in buildings? That's right. Construction workers put frames like wood or steel in buildings to make them stronger and flexible. Framing is the first step in building a house. Before constructing buildings and houses, Construction workers prepare the framework using steel or wood. The steel and wood act as support and framework to make them stand and stay firm. It's guessing time. You are going to identify the material or object shown in the picture based on its framework. What can you say about this framework? What is it? That's right, it's a kite. How did you know it's a kite? You know it's a kite because of its framework. How about this one? What is this thing? That's right, it's a dog. Our next picture is a framework of what animal? Very good, it's a bird. Next, what is this thing? Very good, it's an umbrella. I would like to introduce to you my best friend. He's very healthy. His name is Bonnie. Bonnie is a human skeleton comprises of 206 bones, cartilage, and ligaments. The bones all over our body is called the skeletal system. Its main functions are, it gives the body much needed support, it protects the internal organs, it makes the body movement possible, it stores calcium and minerals, it is where millions of blood cells are produced. The skeletal system has two parts. The green colored bones are called Actual skeleton. It comprises the skull, laryngeal skeleton, vertebral column, and thoracic cage. The second structure of the skeletal system is the appendicular skeleton. It comprises the shoulder girdle, the upper lips. The pelvic girdle and the lower limbs. Try touching your arms. Do you feel the fleshy stuff that covers your bones? What are they called? They are called muscles. Our bones are covered with muscles. Can you imagine yourself without muscles that cover your bones and internal organs? Muscles allow us to move. Although bones are joined in different ways to allow movement, they cannot do so without the help of the muscles that are attached to them. All the muscles all over our body are called muscular system. There are three types of muscles. 
the skeletal muscles, the cardio muscles, and the smooth muscles. Skeletal muscles are voluntary muscles that are attached to the skeleton by tough connective tissues called tendons. Many skeletal muscles are attached to the ends of the bones and meet at the joint. Smooth muscle is a voluntary muscle found in the hollow organs of the body such as stomach, intestine, and around blood vessels. It is also found in your bladder. When they are relaxed, it allows you to hold in your ear until you can get to the bathroom. The muscle that makes up the heart is called cardio muscle. Just like the smooth muscle, cardio muscle works all by itself with no help from you. The thick muscle of the heart contract to pump blood out and then relax to let blood in after it has circulated throughout the body. How do the skeletal system and the muscular system work together to form an organ system called musculoskeletal system? How does the musculoskeletal system work? The skeletal system provides form or shape, support, stability, and movement to the body, whereas the muscle allows the movement of the bones by contracting and pulling on the bones. Okay, children, now you know the functions of the skeletal system and the muscular system. You need to keep your bones and muscles healthy. What are you going to do? Have enough rest at least 10 hours a day. Exercise regularly. And eat a balanced diet. How to keep your bones and muscles in shape? Always observe proper posture when sitting, standing, and carrying heavy loads. That's all of our lesson. Take care everyone. This is teacher Jocelyn Velasquez, grade 6 teacher by Mount Central School, SDO1, Pangasinan.